Okay, this is uh, Nikola Tesla's birthday uh, today, so I'm, I've got a uh, Tesla inspired bifiller coil uh, that's actually made with speaker wire. Uh, there's, you know, this is the bifiller wound winding where you have the two strands of speaker wire, so they are actually four conductors that are wound and then connected in uh, bif bifiller fashion as prescribed by Tesla and uh, here's a uh, the bottom coil and this would be for the top coil so what I've done is I've connected these two uh, pancake bifiller wound pancake coils together uh, in such a way it's uh, 60 micro henries if I measure the air inductance uh, with each coil separate and having them connected together comes out to 241 microhenries. Well anyways, uh, that being what it is, I just decided to hook it up to a signal generator and see if I could get it to resonate with this other coil that has many more windings. And uh, what I've found so far is using a coil with a few windings like this as a primary uh, and you use a coil with a lot of windings, you would expect it to step up. Well, it doesn't step up under all voltages. You can actually get a larger step up in voltage by hitting the resonant point. There's a point at which the frequency uh, will cause uh, an increase. And I guess what we're doing is we're catching the bounce at the top of a square wave. And uh, when you can get the frequency to match the frequency of that bounce, where there's nothing but bouncing, uh, there's uh, an additive effect, and uh, you get more out of the circuit that way. Second one, this is a standard wound pancake coil, and uh, I think it was three millihenries. It's kind of faint here, but three millihenries. I don't know the exact number of turns, but it's many more than what you have on this other one. All right, I'll just put this on here. Put my scope probe up to it. So now I have my uh, two coils, they're just sitting on top of each other. Uh, they're both wound the same direction. Okay, and the uh, signal generator is on. I'm on the 10K. So that's 47,000, 47 kilohertz. And it looks like this on the scope. Alright, so what we're going for uh, to get this to resonate, this is the edges of the square wave pulse that are going in. So when the square wave hits, you get the oscillation at the top of the pulse and at the bottom of the pulse every time the pulse changes. So we're going to increase the frequency until you get right in here uh, to where you have the largest together. Okay, so I'm just going to increase the frequency a little bit. Okay, increasing the frequency. And you see these pulses start consuming each other. Right, that's as far as I can go on that frequency. I'm just going to pop it up to 100 kilohertz. And you see as I increase the frequency, the bounces go away, but the output increases. See this? And you get the last one, and that's where you see the resonant waveform, which I've got it on 5 volts of division in a 10x probe. Right. Let's change the frequency a little bit. And that's about all I get out of it right there. It's maxed out. Okay, and that's... Uh, so 100 to 670, 680 kilohertz. Okay, so that's just one coil resonating into another coil. And to prove there's real voltage there, I'm just going to take this neon bulb here and touch it to... touch it to this thing. 
Oh, see it light up? It's not my hand lighting it up. It's real voltage there. Okay, I'm back. This is a air core solenoid wound uh, inductor. Ninety-seven point two millihenries. Okay, so I'm going to put this solenoid coil on top of the pancake here, like that, and see if I can get it to resonate in honor of uh, Nikola Tesla's birthday. Okay, so here's the uh, solenoid coil on top of a uh, modified stacked pie filler. Okay. And then here's the output. And let's see what we get here on the scope. Oh, not getting anything until I turn it on. And this is the waveform I get. Ooh, get a nice, nice bounce there. Let's see what that looks like up close. Synchronize. Wow, look at that bounce. This might be good. Okay, so let's just tune the frequency up here and see what we get. See if we can get this guy to bounce. All right, I maxed out to the next range. Ooh. This is going to be big. <laughs> yeah, it's. Almost full scale there. Next out. And I'm up in the 10K range now. So what I'm seeing is that as I add more windings, or get more copper in the equation, the uh, frequency goes down. That's about as far as I want to go with my scope. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I'm getting actually more voltage out of this because uh, the frequencies I'm like 30, 35 kilohertz. That's 40. See how it's going up? And there's still more to go. It's, it's ready to climb. So, uh, kind of think about this for a little bit. Let's see.